Hi YouTube, welcome back to my channel. It's Mrs. Bye to Benji here. Excuse my voice, it's because I have the cold and if you're living anywhere near Holland, you know that the weather changes drastically um, over the course of the, of the week. So that I have the cold only now, it's a miracle because I should have had it a long time ago. This, this video is, I'm going to say it's supposed to be a tutorial but I categorize it more as a progress video due to the fact that I am not completely satisfied as to how it turned out. In a video before, I told you the in-depth, um, the specs, as how I always do. Right now, I'm going to show you the tutorial and then I'm going to show you how I styled it. Now keep in mind, I'm not a pro. I am a beginner myself. With that being said, we're going to attach um, pattern piece number three um, to each other. Okay, so this is pattern piece number three right here, which is the lower front side. And what I did, because I'm working with Sky, um, what I do know from the last time that I made something was that you can't really use pins because pins does actually leave a mark on the fabric. And because it's better, it won't... Uh, go back. So what I did is I just used scotch tape in order to attach or at, at least to Yeah, to attach my um, my pattern piece to my fabric. So I was able to cut it out I have everywhere seam a two centimeter seam allowance except for the um, seam underneath Sorry, except for the seam underneath. That's where I used four centimeters. So right now I already threaded my machine and I'm going to just do a straight stitch uh, from the top to the bottom. So I just finished attaching pattern piece number three together. I made sure to make a slit, do a little a slit in the notches. So I will be able to align piece, pattern piece number one, which is this one, to pattern piece number three. This is what the top part looks like. Right now I'm just going to align the two pieces and the notches are there in order to show you that you align them correctly. I'm going to open the middle seam right there. I attached pattern piece one to pattern piece three right here a straight stitch and the notches are aligned. So that's how I know that I attach those pieces correctly. And on the front side, it looks good as well. Because right now, what I need to do is put in the zipper. And I want to film that, but I need to film that during the day. What I need to do is I'm just going to do a straight stitch up to the split right there. And stop there so I could attach those two pieces together. Right now I'm showing you the split. This is the split from the inside. And as you can see, I have a top stitch going on there. I'm turning the pattern piece right now, uh, which is the pattern piece number two, the back piece, and showing you the um, upper part of it. There is where I inserted the zipper. And right on both sides, I did the top stitching across. I'm moving, I'm showing you the back right now. This is how the zipper is inserted from the back and the top stitching. You just need to do a little snip right underneath the zipper so you can do the top stitching all the way to the end. And that is exactly what happened right here. With the right side up. And I'm going to lay the front piece which is what I have in my hands right here. I'm showing you um, the top stitching that happened on the front side, on the upper piece, as well as the middle part going down. I am putting them on top of each other, right sides together, making sure I aligned the top stitch that it is one stitch running through. I'm not only um, putting a bobby pin right by the um, top stitch, I'm putting a bobby pin to keep the entire fabric from moving while I'm sewing it. I feel like that gives me more security and so I won't have a skewed uh, piece of fabric that I'm working with. I have the lining here in my hand 
which is part one and two but on the inside I just I did a straight stitch and right now I'm just going to um, cut the excess fabric so I have a, a less bulkiness uh, once I attach um, the lining to to the skirt and I did this on both sides and this is more um, the amount of fabric that you leave behind is just up to you I'm just opening up um, the lining and I'm going to align them so I will con I continue to align it and later on you will see that I use bobby pins but these are going to be concealed in the seam and so you won't be able to see them as soon as I'm done uh, this is the inside you can see the zipper right here and the final piece the hemline is it the hem yeah of the skirt so I have some pin in place but nothing that goes through on the on the outer side and I'm trying to keep it up to about three centimeters it has to be wide enough so it wouldn't turn over so that is definitely something that I need to take into account so this is how I decide to style my skirt it is right below the knee as you can see here and I need to confess something so my skirt is a little too big and it's definitely like maybe one or two, two no one centimeter off on each side because I have a little bit of gaping right in the back here but honestly I took off about I think I took about four me four centimeters in on both sides when I was putting it together the skirt is a little different from the other skirt because it has a top stitching right in the middle I, I place it not on a fold so I will be able to do the stop, top stitching. This is the back. You can see my long t-shirt so that might not look as flattering as supposed to. And I don't have the right underwear on for this one. Yeah, definitely the zipper is right here up to where the top stitching is. The top stitching goes across and also down to the back. I'm going to stand on the stool again so I can show you the split is right there. It definitely sticks out a little not really sure why it does because I did take enough seam allowance so I did fold it over so it wouldn't turn back because that's definitely a tip that my um, sewing teacher uh, gave me um, it's sky material it's definitely stretchy so maybe that's why I needed to take it in so much I'm still convinced that it's an easy that's an easy pattern I chose to make it out of different fabric as I did last time, so I did feel like last time was easier. And as always, I enjoy making this video. I hope you enjoy watching. Don't be afraid to comment down below if you have any questions or just want to say hey. I have all additional information in the description bar below. Have a great, great day. Bye.